So what's going on YouTube? Happy Saturday night. Uh, this video is basically my response to a question that I actually get asked quite a bit. If you are a collector of 1 to 64 scale die casts and you want to get into premium like de more detailed stuff, more adult adult collectible stuff. This video, if you're new to collecting, this video will probably help you. If you are already a collector and you've been at it for a while, this video is going to be totally meaningless to you. Although there's still some cool die casts that'll be shown in this video. This is kind of your starting point. Mainline Hot Wheels. A buck a piece. Uh, these are probably three of the nicer main lines, in my opinion. Most of them are not this nice. I'd say maybe 10% of their mainline cars they put out are worth me buying for my collection. Now, in the 100% line, which is what this Toyota pickup is, there's a lot of really nice stuff. Most of that you should be able to find in that $10 price point or less. So that's kind of your starting point. And then another good place to be at the dollar price point is with Matchbox. Uh, I think Matchbox cars are quite a bit nicer than Hot Wheels cars. And those are also a dollar. Okay, so from there, this leads me into the question, which is, what what would you recommend if I want to collect the one to sixty four scale and I want some nice detailed die cast and I don't want to spend more than ten dollars per car? I'm just going to start right here with my favorite brand. If you've been watching my videos. It's no secret. I'm a huge fan of Greenlight. These cars retail for about $5.99 a piece. Although Hobby Lobby just recently raised their price a dollar. So they're, they're actually $6.99 and $7.99. I think too many people were using the 40% off. And they're like, well, let's just raise the price. But a really good value at six bucks seven bucks huge selection to choose from um, not necessarily with their tooling catalog but they do have a huge selection of castings that they've put out and while they don't have the best tooling catalog they have a very good tooling catalog it's i think second best only to johnny lightning um, Johnny Lightning has the most diverse tooling catalog of all of the domestic brands. I would put Greenlight in, in a second place position as far as that goes. Um, M2 and Auto World, in my opinion, would tie for last. However, they have to be in this discussion because they're, they are at $6 a piece and they are fairly decent with detail um, pretty good with detail I think lacking in quality uh, they tend to because of all the different pieces that they're made with you know it's not uncommon to have mirrors falling off or bumpers falling off or whatever the case is but you know if you're like me and you just buy it to display it um, M2 is, it has to be mentioned, it's definitely one of the brands you can collect. But I'll tell you this, Greenlight, I've got about 600. Um, Auto World, I have about 80. Johnny Lightning, I think I have about 300. I think I probably have 15 or 20 M2s. So it's not, it's, I'm just not a big fan of it, but you know, for what you're looking for, this is something you should consider. And then the last, not last, but the second to last domestic brand would be Auto World. 
Um, they make some very nice stuff. Probably the best quality. Um, I've always said if you could take Auto World's quality and make, you know, all the cars from the green light tooling catalog, that would be the ideal combination. Because their selection is very weak, but what they put out is definitely very, very nice. The only American brand that is true to scale at 1 to 64 is Auto World. So uh, it's definitely a great brand. Um, honestly, if their selection was better, I would favor them over green light just because their their quality is just so much nicer um, okay so Johnny Lightning I'll show last just because the way the table set up here but Auto World is owned and operated by a company called round two and round two under the round two umbrella you have Auto World you have Johnny Lightning, and you have this brand here, Racing Champs, which, you know, it's not the best, but they do put out some pretty cool stuff, like uh, this old Chevy Impala. This Bel Air is money. This Bel Air is sick. I mean, to me, I think this is nicer than the M2. I know I'm going to get a lot of crap for that, but I think this looks better than the M2. Um, and M2 does not do a 63. So I think that, this is a 64 actually. So that's your uh, Snoop Dogg 64 Impala. And then of course you have the Buick Regal T-Type, which is the same tooling used for the Grand National. And this is a really nice tooling from from. Uh, racing champs and you can see they, they make a really nice car I and mean, there's a lot of nice detail in this car so these are also at that six dollar price point uh, not very common not very easy to find same thing with the auto world they don't make a lot of them so you don't see a lot of them m2s it's hit and miss it's really depends on uh, like the, the auto japan they're not going to sit. The first guy that gets there is going to buy them. But if they put out a packet or a, a, a inner, six car inner of, you know, of the Pontiac Star Chief and the Oldsmobile 88 and, you know, those cars are going to sit. They just don't move. They don't sell like they used to. And I think a lot of it is because of the redundancy with with their releases uh, with auto world they just cut back on the production so much that they just don't make that many of them uh so <clears throat> that's kind of where you're going to want to be i guess what i'll do is i'll move the johnny's over here so that i can do them next because i really do need to show them next before i go on to the other stuff uh johnny lightning here uh these are just this is just three examples of Johnny Lightning cars. Now, all three of these are pre-relaunched with round two. So these are Playing Mantis, um, RC2. Actually, I think I, these all three might be RC2. But uh, it doesn't matter because all the tooling, toolings were all, or the tools were all the same. The level of detail might have been a little bit different from parent company to parent company, but uh, all of the parent companies had quality work, uh, although Tomy definitely cut the most back out of the castings going to plastic bases. But I think you can find examples from Playing Mantis, Learning Curve, RC2, um, and Tommy that are all very nice castings. So uh, Johnny Lightning, 
Racing Champs, Auto World, all three fall under the Round 2 umbrella. All three are fairly limited in their production. Um, I, I guess you could call them mass-produced, but only to maybe a few thousand pieces tops. Unlike Hot Wheels, where it's probably hundreds of thousands of castings for each car. Now me, collecting these brands that I've just shown, I did kind of hit a stalemate where I got bored with all of the domestic die cast. And, uh, you know, really you could only find the import stuff with Hot Wheels. And uh, it's just not detailed enough for me. So what I was looking for was import die cast that had the detail and quality of Green Light, Auto World, Johnny Lightning. And so what I did is I branched out, and really in no particular order, I guess I'll start here with uh, Kyosho because to me this is one of my all-time favorite brands. They do amazing work. They're just little works of art. Uh, everything about these cars is pretty much spot on and perfect. You don't ever get stance issues like you do with green light. Um, you rarely have any flaws, uh, any flash that didn't get trimmed correctly. They're just so nicely done. Um, so this is maybe my favorite overall brand from a detail and appearance standpoint. So that's your Nissan Skyline Coupe, or known here in the US as the Infiniti, I think it's a G35. Uh, here we have a sick little Subaru Impreza WRX, totally awesome looking. Now, keep in mind this thing is the same size as a Hot Wheel. But just check out the detail. I mean, if it does get better than this, it doesn't get much better. People say Tomica Limited Vintage is the nicest, and I don't know. I don't know. Kyosho is very, very, very nice. Now, they do things to cut back on cost. Plastic base, a lot of their bases are just flat non-detailed but if that's how you're going to make your base and you're going to make the car look this awesome i'm okay with the flat plastic base just keep making your cars like this because that is incredible same thing with this ferrari it's also a kyosho you can see just the quality of work in these cars the attention that is paid to the detail is pretty amazing. Very, 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 very nice. So the problem with Kyosho is they're expensive and they're not very easy to find. So I pick one up here and I pick one up there because I only find them here and there. Um, but I still want to collect import detailed die casts. So in my collecting of Kyosho and some other uh, import brands, another brand that I came across and accumulated a small collection of is this brand right here, which is pretty similar to Kyosho. Um, the brand is called Konami, so it's I don't think it's quite as nice as the Kyosho brand, but it is still a very, very nice detail. Transparent lens, headlights, and taillights. Uh, they all have metal body, plastic base. They all have rubber tires with tread, but just very, very, very nice detail. So that's just an old Japan skyline. Here we have a Nissan. Nissan Violet, or Datsun Violet, 
just so cool. Another thing I'm pretty big on is prototypical wheels. And that's something that you get with Konami, Kyosho, Tomoka Limited Vintage. Uh, Auto World does it. Green Light does it, I would say, half the time. Uh, Johnny Lightning tries to do it, but they're not the best at it. But something you never get with uh, Matchbox, Hot Wheels. Your, your cheap basic cars are just pretty much going to have generic wheels. Here's the, the last Konami example that I'm going to show. This is a Mazda Cosmo. Awesome. I mean, this stuff, you just, you won't find one of these from probably any other brand, you know. And that's really part of why I like Konami so much, is they did some very unique castings. And uh, these are pretty scarce. They only made cars for about three years. And uh, they're kind of getting up there in price. But... It'll probably, I have 33 of these. They'll probably be the last 33 cars to leave my collection just because of how unique they are. And I'm just, I would be curious as to how many uh, collections are out there that are that complete. I, I would venture to say there's probably a lot, but in the United States, there's probably not that many. Um, the last premium brand and probably the most renowned, maybe the most respected diecast brand in the world is Tomica, but specifically the limited vintage because Tomica basic uh, models and even a lot of the premium models, the premium models look pretty good. But the basic models, this right here is a mainline Hot Wheels. It's a $1 car. Now, I may get a lot of crap for saying this, but in my opinion, the Hot Wheels license models, for the most part, look nicer to me than the uh, Tomica base models. So now when you get into the Tomica Premium and the Limited Vintage, which is what these are, no comparison. This, these, the Tomica Limited Vintage line, which is their premium line, these are probably the nicest 1 to 64 scale diecast cars that are in production today. <clears throat> There's been some other nice ones that have come and gone. Auto Art, uh, they made some amazing cars this scale. Uh, Mini Champs makes really nice stuff, but they're very few and far between. Uh, Tomica Limited Vintage is consistently producing die cast. They're um, consistently getting licensing and designing um, the, uh, the tooling, getting the tooling made, getting these cars into production. And they do a phenomenal job as we look at the Toyota Supra and the Nissan Safari. And then the last of all, the Nissan Fairlady. Okay, so just as a final overview for uh i don't remember what the what the guy's name was that asked me the question but as a final rundown with mainline hot wheels you can expect to pay about a dollar with the adult collector's stuff car culture pop culture entertainment probably five dollars a piece those are going to be more detailed but still they're not going to be detailed like this other stuff here um, Matchbox are a, a buck a piece. They're pretty nice. Probably the nicest cars, I think, out there for a dollar. But uh, it's not 
what you would call premium detail. <clears throat> so to overview and answer your question, if you want to be under $10 per, per car, green light, M2, Auto World, Racing Champs, and Johnny Lightning, these are all brands that are going to accomplish that for you. They're going to give you nice, good quality, pretty good detail. In some cases, really good detail. And they're going to fit that budget that you're looking for. Now, if you're like me and you collect a lot and you get kind of bored and sick of all the domestic stuff and you want import stuff, with that kind of detail then you're gonna to have to go to the internet because this stuff is not really available it was never commercially available in the United States therefore it's very hard to find it in the United States so eBay is a great source Japan booster on eBay um, it's a great source a lot of my import stuff has come from Japan booster a lot of it has come from the toy pimp but you can expect to pay a lot more you're gonna go from you know six dollars a car to probably twenty to twenty five dollars a car but please don't be one of those people that says I can't afford that yes you can if you can afford to collect green light an M2 and auto world you can most certainly afford to collect Kyosho and TLV and Konami. The only difference is you're going to have less, less of it. Surely, you know, if you're a diecast collector, if you collect green light, I'm sure you have more than four green light cars. You know, you're just buying one of these cars for every four of those cars you're buying. That's basically what it breaks down to. But you can definitely afford to do it if you're collecting those other brands. You just got to be patient because you got to buy them online. They ship internationally, so you got to be patient. Wait for the shipping. It is kind of a pain, but it's so worth it when you finally have them. And uh, I don't typically do this. I don't like showing my house or my room or whatever it is. But I am going to, in this case... Just because all right so I don't even know how good you guys will be able to see this but I'm getting ready to move and uh, this is kind of where I'm at with my Kyosho collection you can see I don't have a ton of them but I do have around 50 of them and uh, I I'm telling you they are they are very 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 nice cars So, anyways, hopefully this helps you out. Um, I did find some stuff today, so I'll be showing that stuff on a video pretty soon, but uh, I'm going to wrap it up for the night. So, I may be back in a day or two with... Uh, today's haul which isn't much but I did find five or six really cool cars but as always thanks for checking it out hopefully this answered your question feel free to comment below if you have any other questions um, most of my subscribers know more about this stuff than I do so if I can't answer your question I'm sure somebody will answer it and uh, you all have a good night go Broncos Happy uh, Football Sunday tomorrow. Peace.